With the new season fast approaching, most pro players are done experimenting and are starting to hone in their champion pool and get serious about their game. One player, however, Caps is not done testing yet. You can see today, guys, I'm reviewing his AP Twitch mid he pulled out this week. And I don't know if it's an EU West thing. This AP Twitch is disgusting. I actually ban Twitch in my own games, mainly to prevent my team from picking it. I don't know what it is. These AP Jungle Twitch, these support AP Twitch, AD, AP Twitch, all AP Twitch, and they do nothing. They do nothing. So I get out, I, I get rid of it. But Caps, on the other hand, he's playing it in the mid lane. I don't know why. I don't know what he's experimenting. I don't know what he's up to. Maybe he's a rat IRL fan. I don't know. But today, guys, gonna break it down. You can see, starts the Q, tries to cheese out a little bit of health on the pike mid. Goes E next. He's running Ignite. No flash, gets picked off there. Dodges out on the stun, still has the IG. And let's see if Viego can help him out. Pike drops the Ignite. Viego makes his way in. Ooh, and we unfortunately go down there. It's a one for one though. Viego picks up the kill. And this is just gonna be a fiesta of a game, I can already tell. Moving back into lane now. My voice a little croaky. Unfortunately, do have the COVID. A little does COVID know I've beaten Dopa, so it stands no match for me. As we see the pike looking for the all-in. Beautiful juke out by Caps. And I really don't know what you're gonna do with this pick. Essentially, you're looking for the death cap in the mid game where you spike up with your uh, passive and then you just like one tap them with your E proc. That's all you really do. Um, You can do a shit ton of damage and surprise people with the burn, but overall is Twitch mid, should you be playing it? I mean, I don't think so. I think it's cheese. I think it's complete nonsense. I think the strongest AP iteration of Twitch we saw was that support variant where Rat IRL almost hit rank one. I don't think we're gonna get any stronger than that. As this Pike is not having a good time with these skill shots, Cap's notorious for really having good movements in lane. Very, I wouldn't say like, I mean, they're confident movements. Very cocky movements is probably what I'd say. He's not afraid to get hit. He's not afraid to die. So he's able to move in like no other. When you um, get rid of all your fear and anxiety around getting hit, getting killed, getting embarrassed, um, and it enables you to move like no other. You'll move like a crazy man as Caps moves in. He wants that solo kill, dude. He actually does a lot of damage. He's looking for that Ignite and E. Does not have flash, does not have the range. And that the part, are you serious? There's no way, there's no way this works. There's no way this works. Oh my God, that shouldn't work. That should not work. Did he not go off? Dude, I, whatever. Nice job by Pike. Just notice that the enemy Yasuo is no other than Nemesis. Back on his home server. Should do a review on him soon, I reckon. So Caps, three stacks on that Dark Seal now. He's gonna hard clear this wave. We're gonna be Emaxing, guys, of course, on the AP Twitch. And I'm excited for the new season. It's always like a week or two of mayhem. If you guys didn't know. So I would definitely, if, if you have very high ranked goals for 2022, I would say probably don't play on your main account for the first, like this is pretty ridiculous, but the first month or two, if I'm serious, I would just plan a smurf and play the best I can, get the champion pulled down and wait for everybody to get correctly adjusted. Okay. Cause some players haven't played at all in the preseason. Some players have bought accounts. Some people coasted the rest, the whole of last season, just doing decay games. And they're not their actual ranks. Preseason puts the whole rank system into chaos. Um, so usually the first couple of weeks and everyone's so competitive about winning because it's the first preseason. They're doing their placement games. It's mayhem. So if you can avoid it and just start playing on a Smurf, do it. But also, I mean, look, you're gonna have to get ranked eventually. So if you want to hard grind it, you can just be aware. Um, there's a lot of other factors going into play and you're probably gonna have the most inconsistent games and results for the first couple of weeks as everyone tries to find their ranks. Um, so we hit level six. I'll be right under the have the blasting, you can see the Javan and the Pike coming through mid. We got a level advantage. Pike went for the bot side roam as always. This champion does not see us at all in the mid lane. He just perma roams. <laughs> You gotta be super careful when you're playing Twitch because you have no mobility. If an enemy Jarvan jumps onto you, you're stuffed. Ain't nowhere you're going. Uh, 
And I think this pick would be best synergized with tanky teams with hard CC. This game you have... I don't even know what this is. You have Quintop, Rivenbot. I don't know what's going on. But usually you'd want to pair it with hard CC like in Leona. Um, if the Jarvan was on your team, it'd be perfect. Top lane like a Mal fight. Just stuff like that you could synergize Twitch mid with. I don't think synergy with Quinn, with Riven, with Viego really work at all. There's a couple of things that to take into mind when using this pick. This pike probably moves across to the mid lane skirmish. So the, the red skirmish. We're gonna find him though. We didn't even get the assist. Okay. Q, back up. Finds the Jarvan. We could we could flash over here. We do flash over here. And we're gonna pick up that shutdown over to Caps. And I'm excited for the LEC to start. Mid lane slow shoving, by the way. I'm excited for the LEC to start. You got Vitality, complete super team, okay? You got perks, um, you got self made, you have Alfari. This whole team is completely stacked. But then on the other hand, you got pretty good teams. You got Fnatic showing up, you got Caps um, with G2 still, bringing in a Broken Blade in the top lane. I think it's going to be a very interesting split to see. Um, and people have kind of been doubting Caps over last year because obviously he didn't make Worlds last year. People are saying, is he still like the best European mid? Um, does he still have what it takes? I think he does. I think you just got to give him a little bit of time. I think you got to put him in the right environment. And I'm excited to see what he can get done in this upcoming split. But if he doesn't have a good split, doesn't make a good showing, doesn't make Worlds, I mean, look. Is Perks the best European mid? We'll see. We'll see what happens. Javin. Both, I mean, look, we got a, we got what, a 30 CS lead, but both CS, both mid laners, 60 CS at nine minutes is terrible. Shut down. Work our way in. Four points into E now. Now you'll see the E passive just absolutely spiking. You, I mean, if you're familiar with Rat IRL and you've seen his AP Twitch, you'll know what to expect with this. We find the Javin. Pops the W. Pops the E. It's not going to be enough. We still have the ultimate though and ignite. And I think he's not going to risk face checking that brush. He's going to sit in here and hit the recall. If Jarvan is crazy, he'd come into this blue. But I think if Jarvan had any sense, which he does, he just recalled. You can see his health going to full. Caps will head back to base. Pick up the Nashes at 10 minutes, which is not too bad. Twitch doesn't really have any good AP Mythics to rush. So the Nashes just makes a lot of sense. I've seen Nashes into Death Cap. I've seen Nashes Rift make a Death Cap. Um, there's a lot of builds you can be going with this Twitch. I still think at the moment, AD Twitch is underrated. I think AD Twitch synergized with a good team is very strong. But most people are just obsessed with these kind of meme builds like the AP setup. They're fun to play. It's kind of like the hybrid core setup. They're fun to play and if played perfectly, they can make sense. Ooh, as we go one for one, we give the shutdown over to Lux, not bad. Caps is just the most annoying play to verse in solo queue. I've played it maybe four or five times in my career, um, if you want to call it that, which you can because it, it, I have um, done, accomplished certain things. Um, and dude, versing him is the most annoying thing. He's too unpredictable. When you verse someone like Faker, when you verse someone like Dopa, I found them very predictable. I knew that I knew what they're going to do from moment to moment. Much easier to set up. Just because I knew what they're going to do doesn't mean I can beat them, you know. Dopa it does, but like, <laughs> obviously, it just means that it's it's suffocating, it's hard to find, um, you can find a rhythm, you can find a pattern, even though if you're, like, you're losing against it, you can still find something. When you verse caps, it doesn't, it just feels like there's no pattern, there's no rhythm, there's no style, there's, it's just mayhem, and his mechanics are absolutely crazy, which makes it work. If his, if his mechanics were, like, mediocre as a pro player, which some pro players don't have the greatest mechanics, this type of crap would never work. It's just because he's so crazy, he's able to make it work. Um, and you'll see him a lot of time falling behind in CS, not setting up proper wave management. The guy doesn't care. He's trying to innovate new ways to play. He's limit testing always. And when it comes down to those stage games, he knows the numbers. And he can kind of put it on a 
Ooh, he finds the Lux. This might be a little bit risky if we move in. Ooh, and we get binded. The Jarvan probably going to make his way in. That was the most embarrassing flag and drag attempt I've ever seen. As we have ult. We're on full vision here. And they're going to try and pincer the Jarvan and the Lux under tower. I don't think it's going to work. The Queen won't be able to get the wave in in time. The Nemesis is still up there under tower. Is Riven Bot doing phenomenally well? <laughs> Because we didn't get a buy, I guess we, I mean, we didn't farm, we didn't get any gold, we didn't get any kills. 1.5k gold lead to the red side though. And new changes coming through in the next patch that I haven't really talked about. So, Gangplank's getting buffed. Tyler 1 screaming somewhere, no doubt. Um, the biggest change coming up is teleport. Teleport can no longer be used on minions. Um... I believe awards until 14 minutes, which means you can only use them on structures, which means bot lane is going to be very happy because they can um, now freely 2v2 pre-14 minutes without the threat of a stupid flank, like a five-man bot lane dive with TP, this crazy stuff coming through. Um, it's going to make the game a lot more stable and probably make top lane even more irrelevant. This Caps has been caught out. He's popping the ultimate. I thought he killed Pike for a second there. He didn't quite have enough damage. Um, the Jarvan comes through, collects him. Pike with the Dusk Blade God. It could this this strategy could really work for the Pike. You have you have the Ziggs and the Lux to poke, and then you have the Jarvan for the follow up. Jarvan pinces them all in together, then Pike just gets a twenty man ult. And I don't know about Riot Games' decision to put these teleport changes at the end of the preseason. <coughs> if they were going to put these changes at the start, they, if they're going to make these changes, which are such big changes, they should have made them at the start of the preseason. That's what pre that's what preseason is for, testing. So I don't know why they've made some of the biggest game changes, the biggest game changes, at the end of this, just before the brand new season, when no one is really familiar or comfortable with it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Caps once again gets caught out. The problem against this Twitch as Diego makes his way in onto Nemesis. Can't quite find the distance. Caps have got three deaths in a row now. Not too much return. God, Diego is so dumb. As he picks up a double. Okay, finally, please, let's find some consistency in the lane caps. Let's take a little bit of a breather. We have no flash. We shouldn't really be blind running deep into lane against Jarvan Pike. We have the sweeper moving into the bot lane. Look at the Riven, six and one. We're on a ward, they know. Finds the Lux, pops the W. Weaving these autos through. You see the E pop, boom. Pops the Lux. Pike, unfortunately, then comes through. Look at the Viego. Looking for the 1v2. I reckon he wins it, thoughts? Oh my god, track down over the Jarvan game. Within 1k gold now, it's getting there. It's getting very close. Riven finds the Pike. Pike, I think he's gonna die. Riven pops the R. Gonna... Ooh, beautiful job by the Ziggs. Do we have flash? No flash on the Riven. We pick up the Ziggs. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna try and look for the Pike as well. Spectator pans over to Caps. As he gets the lost chapter, we're going okay, we're going AP Mythic, I like it. He's got Lucidity Boots. Like I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Um Crown of the Shattered Queen to kind of like abuse the passive for preventing Pike Ghost might work a little bit. I think more aggressive like Ludens would be a little bit of fun though, wouldn't it? Some penetration. That's crazy. They haven't really. Oh, this is what you need to be. If you're playing, if you're playing a Twitch bid, you need to be perma roaming like this. We find. Oh my god! I reckon we're gonna get the Pike to burn. Do we get him? Do we get him? Oh my god! We don't get him. We don't get. We do not get the Pike. That's so unlucky. 
Um. Yeah, I thought they're gonna nerf a lot of the dragons. I thought there was a lot of things. I really still am not a fan of the the hex tech portals. I don't know about you guys, but I just don't feel comfortable with the hex tech portals. And I don't really feel that comfortable with the invisibility around the buffs. I'm not sure. They don't really feel natural to me. They feel they just don't feel right. So we're gonna leave them up for 2022 and they're here to stay. Crazy, we went from like small changes like alcoves, like tiny little bumps in the top lane in the bot lane these fucking portals that is teleporting us across half the map and making these big zones of invisibility in the middle of the map like it's crazy the changes we're gonna have i'm i mean i'm forever gonna be interested in tracking to see what right games does to change this game to try and make it still relevant because obviously as caps gets knocked up kiting 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 still has the e the sterax prop for the jarvan Clean up through here, gets the assist, moves down into the top lane. So the thing about League of Legends is obviously they need to make drastic changes to keep the player base interested. If they were to keep League of Legends the same as it was in Season 1, there'd be no progression. Um, players would stop playing, go to other games, and they wouldn't have a reason to come back. So these drastic changes, they get the player base to go tell, the, tell their old friends that used to play League, hey man, these new dragons, these new items, this new all coming out come back and try it and they come back and try it maybe they get addicted again that's the whole premise of what riot does and they do it very well um but some of these drastic changes they make the so new champions kits they make sometimes just feels a little bit too much you gotta question it you say like, come on man just put out another luck skin do we really need samira ultimate do we really need affilius's entire kit like that like who knows nemesis can smell the rat Unfortunately, have no smell right now. But we make our way back. Do we have the mythic? Does we have it? I don't think it matters what he does this game. It's going to come down to this Riven being cracked as we do get the crown of the Shattered Queen. I reckon next item will be a Death Cap. And we're just going to look to open up with the ultimate, with the W, and just one tap with those E's. Burn them down as well. Drop down in the side lane. Do not take this 1v1 caps. Do not take this 1v1. He's actually genuinely thinking about trying to take on that Yasuo with two levels on him. To clear through. You can see, I think Nemesis is completely surrounded here. And Caps, is he even going to... I don't even think... Is he going to go on a ball? He's going to wave clear. Let his team do the heavy lifting. Wave clear through the top side. He can't really help that much. As if Diego picks up the Yasuo. And Perks versus Caps rematch in the LEC. I'm very excited for. Pike just misses out on the Q. Caps goes invisible and trying to try and track him down. The 60 CS lead over the Pike, even though Pike probably outperformed Caps, I think this CS lead is going to make the difference. Finds him, makes his way in, flashes the W, opens up, gets the kill, and he's going to die still. Is Pike doing well? Probably a Pike, I mean, any Pike, oh, his literal name is Pike. I was about to say, anyone that plays Pike mid is probably a Pike one trick. This guy's name is Pike, so like, there's no zero doubt for me. By the Riven, 11 and 1 with the Seraldas grudge. Caps gets the needlessly large rod, obviously going death cap next. Three, only 3.5k gold lead for this team. I would not allow this game to go late. I reckon they need to close ASAP. Um, if you allow, if you allow Ziggs Yasuo to go late game with the pike clean up with Jarvan Lux, like I generally think this comp is completely broken late. So in the next five minutes, you're trying to really push the game. Don't overcommit, but push the game. Try and capitalize. Luckily, they've got a decent amount of dragon stacking. Here's something that won't wash off. But yeah, the reason that I think that the support Twitch works so well is a lot of the time people don't really pay attention where the support is. It 
But people are always paying attention when the mid laner is. So when you go roaming, when you go invisible, you oh, get a flank here. Look at, look at, look at, look at the ultimate. Look at the range. And we are just snapping next there. Gets the Jarvan. That is going to be three for one. And Riven trying to make it a complete ace into the Nash. This would probably end a GG as the Riven gets the double. Only Pike remaining. That's going to be a free Nash. not try this setup at home, gentlemen. I don't think we're going to be seeing this come to the LEC. Maybe it picks up the Nash. Should be able to clear through topside, maybe get another Ninsley large and then run it down mid for the end. you got to end on this Nash, I'm saying. Otherwise, the Ziggs is going to be able to clear out for the next 10 minutes and stall until Nemesis becomes a complete threat. He head back. He did get the Jarvan kill. I don't think he does. He shouldn't have enough of the death gap. Double needlessly. 370 AP. And I actually kind of like the crown. It's, it's going to keep him alive in these fights. A lot, a lot less uh, vulnerable. With Flash, have the Ignite. You got to try and... It's always about getting... Um, flanks. You don't really want to run this pick straight down the mid lane. You want to come from an angle. He comes in invisible. Let's see who he focuses. He's ready to open up. Starts the ultimate. Look at the range. Watch this snap. Boom! A double kill. There we go. That's what this whole video is about. Just looking at that one snap. That's what I was looking for. And you can't even imagine how lethal this is when you hit the death gap. So whilst I think this AP Twitch in the late game is phenomenal, it's just that early game trough that's hard to get through. So if you're looking for a cheesy pick and you're able to get through the early laning phase, you'll have a terrific time with this. You'll have a lot of fun. The people trying to go for aggressive early games and stuffing up, you're going to have such a bad time with this pick. Does he almost be... I think he only needed one more order to pick up that Ziggs. Look at, look at the Ziggs health in the bottom left. Almost dies to the burn. He hits the base. Ooh, Death Cat, baby. Death cap completed. Thank God. I was, I was like, I really didn't want them to FF before he gets a death cap. And now we're going to make our way. Dude, what is the ultimate cooldown? I swear it's so low. Less than 60 seconds for sure, right? Is this snap falling Let me see. <laughs> Lethal. That's Riven. Just look at the Riven. Oh my God. Okay. Is Riven really going to get a quad? Riven gets the quadra kill. They should FF. I really wanted to see Caps open up with this death cap. Enemy team FFs the game. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for today's review. I really appreciate you guys showing up. Sorry my voice is a little bit croaky. Pray for my recovery. I'm sure I'll be fine. Catch us on the next review. Peace.